everybody. Crispy Divine Central Mass Vapors. I am in the best mood today, okay? Couple reasons why, and we'll get to all of them, I promise. First and foremost, a big ash shout out to my Facebook group, Central Mass Vapors, the group. I know, how original, right? These uh, days, I've been spending a lot of time in this Facebook group. Uh, when I first started Central Mass Vapors, I created this group, and um, just because, I don't know, I'm not really good at the whole thing of like, you know, gathering people and, you know, hey, come to this group, and I was just starting doing my videos, so I was very like, you know, all about that. Uh, so the video, I'm sorry, the, the group just kind of sat there and people would post things in here and every once in a while and every once in a while I would post something or I would think oh I'm going to get this group ready and it just never happened so the other couple weeks ago um, I just decided you know what I'm going to do something with this group it's been sitting there there's people in it uh, let's see what I could come of it okay so uh, I put my friend Amanda as an admin um, and I started adding people that I thought would be good with the group uh, and then I started doing these little giveaways which of course is one of the reasons why people like groups you know you get giveaways and fun and stuff uh, so you know we have about 160 members which of course is very small compared to some of the groups that are out there with 15,000 people in it but it's still new and it's growing and I'm very very happy and pleased with people that have gone in there so far we've done some terrific giveaways people have gotten some juice and you know what it's just the beginning and I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun these days with groups, there's so many different things you can do with them. You can just have a straight up group where people just talk and post pictures and videos and hand checks and all that. Or you could have ones where people could sell their vape stuff on or you could do waffles or, um, you know, just straight up giveaways or group buys. Because this is still the beginning, I'm not really sure what direction. I do want to do some things with group buys or waffles uh, just because I feel like it brings another level to the group. Um, but again... It's still fairly new so of course you know once we get you know going I'll figure something out so what I'm gonna say today is I'm gonna invite everybody out there that isn't already a part of this group if you're on Facebook please find the group I'm gonna leave a link in the description uh, go over there send a member request I'll let you in of course you must be 18 or over to get into this group uh, you know basically we just don't want any targets on our head we'll talk about that a little later um, so you know as long as you're 18 plus and you vape you're in so come join us over there we've got some live giveaways going on right now a lot of fun great group of people um you know a nice eclectic group of people so um it's great stuff also you guys have always heard me talk about rocket chicken box mods well i put a post in there mainly to get some interest to see if people would uh be up for a group buy of these boxes uh, as you guys know it's my favorite box company i love the guy that runs it he's super super cool he is very you know um involved in stuff he answers questions very quickly he posts pictures of uh you know all this stuff when he's when he's making these buys uh and they're one of a kind boxes or they're you know a set of 10 which makes it all perfect when you know there's only 10 of these same mods going out so anyway, with that said, come to the group, check it out, find that post, put it X1 if you're interested in maybe possibly getting involved in that sort of thing. And if you have any ideas about what kind of stuff would be good in this group, if you have ideas of what kind of group buys or waffles you'd like to see, let me know. Anyways, find me, I'll leave the link in the description, check it out. One of the big things that I wanted to talk about today is a piece of vape mail history for Crispy Divine, okay? So as you all know, I've talked about it a couple different times. I'm taking all of my old clone stuff, which I had so many mods and RDAs that were all clones that I bought when I first started vaping. And I really wasn't really understanding of the whole concept between like authentics or whatever. All I seen at that point was a price tag and the fact that I wanted all these mods that everyone had. So I've been basically almost sold out of everything. I've still got some mods and stuff. But I recently wanted to start taking that next step into buying authentic mods. Now, as we all know, those things are fucking expensive, right? It's really hard to afford to spend that much money on something like that. But for me, vaping is very important to me. You know, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a fun hobby for me. I enjoy the people. I enjoy it all, you know? So for me, it's not 
it's the same as somebody going out who is a big fan of watches and buying a Rolex or somebody who's a big fan of shoes and buying a pair of Jimmy Choo's or somebody who's a fan of Red Sox and they go out and spend $200 to see them play the Yankees. I mean, this is no different. So if anybody tells you, oh, how can you ever go and pay that much money for something and metal tube, you know what? Screw you. You go out and you buy what you think is worth buying at large quantities of money. Well, so do I. It's the same exact thing. It's just not with something that you enjoy, correct? Correct. And again, I've said it before, I don't have anything against anybody using anything. I'm not going to diss anybody. Uh, but we will talk about something that I'm a little weirded out by, but we'll get to that later. With all that said, the reason why I bring this up is that I was able to get my first authentic piece, something that I was able to start to build my new collection. You've seen it a couple weeks ago. That was the white and pink splatter um, tugboat mod. Still super happy with it. Love it. It's cool as hell. But anyway, I started doing waffles with a group, okay? This waffle group only does uh, authentic stuff, right? Well, long story short, I got myself involved in this one waffle for a seafoam green blue or seafoam, yeah, seafoam Hello, can you talk today? I don't think so. Can you talk today? I don't think so. Seriously. So this mod was a seafoam green, which that's what they called it. It looks a little blue to me. Uh, rig mod. Now, the funny part about the whole rig is because I've seen these, these these mods for a long time. And I, I wasn't really like, oh my god, I have to own one. But when I seen the looks of this mod, and then I read a little bit more about it, and then I seen what it came with. It came with a roughneck RDA, a matching one, okay? I wasn't really sure exactly what that meant, so I went and looked. Come to find out, the Roughneck is a specific RDA for the rig. It has the threading that goes directly into the mod, so it already adds to how hard this thing hits because the connectivity is there, okay? So I placed a bid. Now with these waffles, as we talked about in the past, you basically just buy a spot. I think I bought one or two spots, and it was a really good like you know, amount of money. It wasn't like $30 a spot. When the drawing happened, I was absolutely shocked. I won. I never win things. Like, I never, I used to say that, actually. But I've, my luck has kind of changed. So I won this thing. Who is to know that this mod was going to be my favorite mod to date? Okay? So let's take a look at this thing. See? So, here it is. Something that actually matters uh, when you're talking about these sort of things are the serial numbers, which I'm not really sure exactly why they matter. People say, oh, I want super low or whatever. Uh, this is a number 79 uh, roughneck with a 142 rig, okay? Now, just talking specifically about the feel, okay? This mod feels like no other mod I've ever felt, okay? It has got the perfect weight to it. It's it's uh, perfectly around. Uh, you know, it feels nice and smooth. Um, the, you know, whatever this, uh, I think I read it was like a Cerakoted. I'm not really sure exactly what that is. I said that before, and of course I didn't do any, uh, you know, research. <laughs> but anyway. So, but anyway, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. I just love how it feels, okay? Now, one of the biggest things about this is the fact that the button is like so smooth, okay? This thing feels so nice to press, okay? It's weird how easy it is. You don't have to put any pressure into it. Just a little bit of pressure, I should say, but nothing that's gonna bug you. Uh, it feels nice and smooth, and when you hit it, you can instantly feel the power rushing through it, okay? Let me be your guinea pig. I will show you exactly what I mean. Correct? Okay, ready? <laughs> now, I'm sure that there's like 10 people out there looking at me and being like, Chris, you have a rig and you're not even blowing these huge clouds. Sorry. Again, I am so not going to put myself through the fear of something happening to these things, so I still will keep these builds to the safe that I feel is okay, okay? I'm not saying that it isn't safe if you go lower or whatever, but just for me, it feels nice and it's what I enjoy, so it doesn't really matter. But I will say this, another reason why I haven't jumped into building lower than my comfort zone is because not only is this roughneck, um, 
like I said, designed to go straight into the uh, rig, but this is it, okay? So if you notice, right here, where you would usually see the, um, you know, uh, the connection to go into like an RDA, um, an ohm reader or whatever, there isn't one, okay? So this right here is the actual RDA. That's, when, that's why when I seen it on the pictures, I was like, what the hell is that? So there is no uh, connection to put into um, an RDA, uh, why do I keep calling that, an ohm reader. So the only way to actually uh, test the resistance of one of these is to actually go out and buy a multimeter, which I did. Now a multimeter can check all different types of stuff, right? But the only thing of course that I care about is ohms, right? So you have to basically uh, do a little math when you do this. I'm not gonna give you a tutorial, there's plenty of them out there. And it is kind of a pain in the butt to do. Uh, but, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. It tells you the ohms of this, uh, which is great. So I went out and I bought one because, of course, like, no matter what, I know what six wraps this dual, da 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 I could figure it out. Uh, there's tons of apps out there and stuff. But for me, I just like to see it on paper. Now, like I said, this is a, this is a hybrid. We talked about hybrids before. It's, it's uh, direct battery to battery connection okay so you're basically eliminating that terrible voltage drop that you would get when there isn't a hybrid uh, you know connection or whatever it takes one 18650 battery and it screws up only from the top which kind of pissed me off because the other day I noticed that this bottom part was kind of coming out a little bit um, so I would assume that it was you know the button was getting a little loose well I just started like you know twisting the bottom and it came out but then it's like a bitch to get the little pin inside here to connect it back together. Luckily, we were able to do it and it works fine, but it was a little bit of a pain in the butt, you know, so for instance, it's not gonna be the one that I'm gonna rip it apart to clean it, uh, you, know, and, you know, every single day. It's gonna be something that I'm gonna wanna take my time to do so that way I can get it good so that way I don't have to do it all the time, okay? So of course, battery, uh, positive side up always. <clears throat> like I said, this screws right into it, which has been so freaking easy to screw. Like it doesn't like feel like you're even screwing in anything. Like the threads are so nice. This thing pops off so simple. And now let's take a look at the deck. I'm going to get close for this one. So here is the deck. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's like the perfect size for some nice big coils, depending on what you like to, you know, to make. I'm actually using Nichrome for the first time, um, and I've been actually really, really enjoying it. Another first for me is using uh, Cotton Bacon, which I'm actually enjoying uh, as well. If you notice, it looks like it's got a nice copper center pin, which is always nice, or copper center post, rather, sorry. Uh, very, very simple screws to deal with. The holes on this aren't huge, which is weird. I thought they would be bigger than what they are, but no worries, they work very well. So that is the, uh, the deck of this rough neck. Now let's go ahead and put the top cap back on. Come on, it's hard to do when I'm looking through the camera. So here we are. So here's what it looks like when it's all together. What beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship this has. It's American made and there's a bell. I'm not sure what that means. And there's that. Da -da 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 -da. So as you can see, just from looking at it up close, this thing is absolutely flawless. I am just so excited about it. It really works so good and I've never been happier. So let me uh, get back in front of the camera because God knows y'all missing my face. So as you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt. Mm, yeah, and it's a different day. I screwed up. I didn't hit the fro focus button on the camera before I came back into frame, so therefore I had to wait. Uh, but it's okay. I'm chilling. I'm here. I'm still doing what I'm doing. No worries. Nobody freak out. Anyways, let's get back on track. So to end my little rant on this mechanical mod that I love so much, I want to leave you guys with a few positive notes. Okay. First off, if you are interested in purchasing a rig v2 or v1 or whatever always consider that you must have some sort of knowledge general knowledge of battery safety as well as uh, ohm's law with building your own coils okay 
And because of the nature of the hybrid, um, you know, uh, connectivity or whatever, just remember, you do not want to use any sort of sub-ohm tanks. You don't want the actual RDA to be touching the battery, okay? Um, I apologize if that sounds weird uh, or if I'm explaining it wrong, but I'm sure you guys will get the gist. And I will leave a picture somewhere around here. We'll cut off and go, picture. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want to, um, you know, have something like that go on to these batteries. Uh, another couple things is, is if you are not interested in purchasing a Roughneck RDA with the rig or, you know, you can't find them or whatever the case may be, no worries. All you have to do is screw on the top cap that comes with it. Uh, it comes, you know, with the rig or whatever, and uh, you can use any RDA you want. So that's always good. Uh, if you are going to run out and buy the authentic rig, it is going to cost you a pretty penny. Um, I've seen these go for anywhere from $180 to $260, okay? And uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. And it, you have to decide if it's worth it to you or not. If it isn't worth it to you, then there's clones of them. I suppose you can buy those as well. But you know what? Just remember that if it is a little bit too rich for your blood or you can't justify spending that kind of cash, on it but you really really want it take it in consideration that it is somewhat of an investment okay let's consider this if you smoke to packs of cigarettes every day like you were before eventually you're gonna smoke enough cigarettes to afford one of these correct so now you don't have to worry about this okay if you're not somebody who's looking to have 40 of these which most people don't then you're only buying it once the thing is made out of copper. It isn't going to break on you, okay? Most of these mods and stuff, if you buy them from a nice, a good company, then you're gonna be able to go on their website and purchase, you know, pretty in affor affordably, purchase replacement parts if you need to replace a part of whatever, okay? So really, if you purchase something like this, you buy juice and you keep up on it and that's all there is to it. You don't have to keep buying stuff for it other than juice. So technically, I think of it as an investment because another part of this is, is if for some reason uh, you find yourself uh, not wanting it or maybe you're like, oh my God, I spent too much money, I don't want it anymore. There's plenty of people that do, okay? And there's plenty of people that are gonna want to buy it. And you can buy, you can sell these things for what you paid for it because Unless you like throw it around and you ding it up and the scratches and dents and all that stuff, people will pay what you paid, you know? Uh, just like me, I mean, I, I can't afford this stuff. You know, I went into one of those waffle groups and I, you know, I was lucky and I won, um, you know, but I am in the process of, ugh, I won't even talk about what I want next. So uh, another cool thing about these mods is that they're collector's items. I mean, they're things that you can have and, you know, hold and, and be very proud that you own something that was a limited edition or a limited run. I mean, I see people out there that buy some of the craziest things. Have you ever watched those shows where the people buy the, um, the uh, toys and stuff and they spend like five grand on one toy. I mean, you know that you sit at home and you think, holy crap, why would you ever spend that much money on something you're never gonna use? But again, these people save their money to purchase these things because that's their passion, you know? So don't let anybody ever tell you not to buy something or that you're stupid for buying something because you know what? Just because it's not something that they like doesn't mean that it's not something that you can like, okay? Thank you. I mean, look at those caravellas. I've seen those for like four grand because they're made out of some like crazy fucking rock. But then again, what's the difference between somebody doing that or buying a diamond? I personally would rather have a $10,000 mod because at least I can use it. At least I can do something with it. What is a diamond gonna do? It's not gonna get me laid, I'm already taken. Mm -hmm. So that is my little rant on the rig mod. So excited I want it. I'm still poor. <laughs> but I'm able to have this little mod and I just love it so much and I can't wait to uh, You know, maybe I'll become a cloud chaser. Maybe I will now that I have this I can be like I'm a cloud chaser uh, So let's move on. I've got some juice to show you. You know, I have juice. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, look at me using a sub ohm tank. And guess what? Look at I have this Tesla too. What a cute little mod this is. Have you guys ever seen this before? I don't know. Have I talked about this before? I don't know. We're not going to talk about it now. It's not about this. We're going to talk about this. This is a juice called Schwartz. Mm. Uh, Power of the Schwartz, I think, something like that. Uh, this is uh, called The Upside. It's by the company, The Schwartz, okay? It is a yogurt vape. Now, obviously, like, we went from creams and custards to yogurt. Um, I don't want to say that they were the first to do it, but I remember the Schwartz was one of the first ones that I seen that started this whole yogurt trend because, obviously, they put out a yogurt and then everybody else put out a yogurt, which is fine. You know, that's what we do here, right? So I won this too. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I did. I don't have any luck with giveaways for the most part. Like I never win those. Well, every once in a while I'll win something. But for some reason with waffles, I've had some luck. Um, and this was the first one I won uh, from this group that I got the rig from. And um, it is a strawberry yogurt type thing, right? Uh, it's three milligrams and it's a 120 mil bottle. I know that if you buy this stuff, um, you know, off of a website, I think it's in the $20 mark. So it's a little bit, you know, on the high side of, of juice or whatever. But I gotta tell you, for a yogurt vape, um, I don't really get a lot of creamy yogurty feelings and, you know, motionish in my belly. Um, I do get a very nice flavor of strawberry. These strawberry vapes are so big. Everybody has a strawberry and cream. Everybody has a strawberry vape. Whatever. And it's really hard to do it any different than anybody else because, like someone brought up to me the other day, there's only so many strawberry, um, like, extracts or whatever they use to make the juice unless you're, like, making your own, you know? Um, so a lot of these do taste the same. For me, it's all about the brightness of the strawberry. If you get a dull boring one note strawberry then it's not I'm not gonna it's not gonna win for me however when you get a strawberry that actually smells like a fresh strawberry that's when you really want to go for it if you smell something that smells very like fake strawberry or it smells maybe candy um, but you're looking for that stra fresh strawberry flavor that's where you want to go for um, this right here right off the bat had a uh, very 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 strong aroma of strawberry um, and I was a little afraid that it was going to be too overpowering but it must be that cream that or that yogurt or whatever guys like I would love to know what the hell yogurt smells like on its own you know it's like curdled milk or whatever or goat is it a goat I don't know uh, but yeah it's really really good I got it in this tank which I love that I can run these like thick syrupy juices in these tanks um, and this is where I've been keeping it. I haven't even put it in RDA because this has been like, you know, the best. This is a, um, I think this is the, the Heracles. Yeah, it's funny because that, uh, that super strong smell, that pungent smell of strawberry through the tank, it just really, really gives it like a nice balance. And like, I know I use that word all the time, but that's the word that needs to be used is balance. You can't have something that doesn't taste good, okay? And things are not gonna taste good if there isn't two th or three ingredients making it better. You know what I mean? Like if you just took strawberry and you put it in this juice, it's gonna overpower you with strawberry. You need something to cut the strawberry sweetness and that you know, freshness and give it another taste. So that way your taste buds go back and forth and go, holy shit, that's really good. The Schwartz does that. I don't think it is the best strawberry I've ever had, but I definitely think it's worth vaping on, uh, and it's a nice, uh, pleasant vape. So the Schwartz, Schwartz paired with the rig on a Roughneck or a, uh, you know, uh, another RDA would be beautiful. Or you could just stick it in a sub -ohm tank and uh, do it like Crispy does and, you know, just enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Um, like I said, I won this one, so I'm not really sure, uh, what, uh, I'm going to do about giving you guys a link because I didn't buy it anywhere, but I will leave you a link of where you can get this if you want to check it out. Uh, you know, they come in smaller bottles, of course, so you can check them out. And I think actually Schwartz comes in 15 mil bottles as well, so you can really get, you know, uh, as little as 15 mil. I have another bottle of Schwartz, uh, that I just picked up. 
and it's, uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top, but it's a peanut butter vape. And as we know, I love peanut butter vapes, but we'll see how good it is because I haven't really dug into that. But anyway, um, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the Platinum Label Vapors Juice um, in the next video. It's going to be coming up in the next like couple days or week or whatever, and uh, we'll get two winners there. So if you haven't already, get in on that. I'll leave a link in the description for that video. Um, and please, if you are watching this, and you really, really want to make me happy, come check me out over, or I should say, come check us out over at uh, Central Mass Vapors of the group on Facebook. Link will be in the description. I have uh, myself and uh, four other admins that are there, and uh, we're just having a lot of fun. I've got some live uh, giveaways going on over there as well. Um, we're going to be very um, active in the whole advocacy uh, part of things, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and... Uh, if you really want to make me happy, you better do it because guess what? I'm not happy until everybody happy. Just kidding. Thank you so much for joining me today. Tune in next time where we'll be talking about another mod. We'll talk about another juice or maybe we'll just rant and rave about something scandalous. I'm sure we can find something. Thank you again. Come see me in the group. Leave links in the description for everything. Join us off. Fight for your right to vape because no one's going to do it for you. And, um... Stay fabulous because no one does it better than me.